And here in this video, let's start with question number 11, part two for Python MCQs. And the earlier one was already uploaded. You can watch that one by visiting the link in the description section. And let's start this one. The question here is find the invalid variable among the following. And if you are going to see here, you are going to scan the options one by one. Uh, we are having four options. And uh, the basic rule of uh, declaring the variable is that at the initial position, only lowercase or uppercase or any special character symbol only that is underscore is uh, uh, allowed. But at the initial position, we cannot use numerical value, right? As well as we cannot use other symbols like star, hash, whatever. So here, if you are going to see here, we are having a numerical value at the beginning. That is why it is invalid. But numerical value might be used from second position onwards, right? So in that, there is no issue. However, you can already, uh, you can use simple underscore also for creating a variable, or you can use any any string with uh, starting from underscore, right? So only option A is the correct answer here. Question number 12, which of the following statement is correct in this Python code? So this Python code is given to us and let's scan the code. What exactly this code is saying? Uh, we are having a class, we are having a function and the function name is like this. And initial, uh, under that parameter is passed. Thereafter, something is written inside the function and then we are having two identifiers, name one and name two. So to the first identifier, you can simply say that name one, uh, we are having some objects that is PQR is assigned to it. And uh, to other identifier name two, we are assigning the value of name one. It means that it is also referencing the same object. So if you have learned the Python in very, very, very depth, then this is called as aliasing concept, the concept of aliasing in Python it, in, in, in which, the same object might be represented with more than one uh, variables. And if we are going to change something in one variable, it is going to reflect in the other variables also. That is in other identifiers also, right? So it will throw an error in multiple reference to same object is not possible. No, it will not throw any kind of error. It is a simple concept of aliasing. Identifier name one and identifier name two will have same value. Yes, this is the correct. Both name one and name two will have to reference to two different object of class name. No, only option B is the correct one. Question number 13, what will be the result of the below command in Python? So here, if you are going to see a command is here and we need to find the answer. So round 0 0.4 is going to convert it to the nearby value that is 0 minus 0 0.6, it would be minus one and the resultant value would be zero minus minus one that is one. So option A is the correct answer. Round function is going to round up the digits. The next one is what will be the output of the following Python function? So here a Python function you can simply see here and we have to initially solve the inside function and thereafter we have to solve outside function. So let's solve inside function first. So it is nothing but max false means zero minus three minus four. So what is max out of zero minus three minus four? That is zero. It is max. Correct. It is the max of 0 minus 3 minus 4. So the resultant would become mean out of 0, 2, and 7. And what is the mean of this? Mean of this is nothing but 0. And 0 is basically represented as a false. Correct? Hence, option D is the correct answer. So I hope the concept is very much clear to all of you regarding this Python basic question. Question number 15. What will be the output of the following Python function? If you are going to see here, it is a length. That is length function is used. And I hope you all know the length function is going to calculate the length of the Python list. And in this, if you are going to see here, the number of objects present is going to be the length. That is four. Option C is the correct one. Question number 16, which function do we use to shuffle a list, say list one? Let's say we are having list one and we are having some items in it. And we have to shuffle, we, we want to shuffle all the items in random position. So the uh, the code, the syntax that we are going to use is random dot shuffle and the list name. Random followed by dot followed by shuffle followed by name of the list in parentheses. This is the correct syntax for shuffling any list. Question number 17. 
study the following function what will be the output of this function so here the function name is all the function name is all and inside that we are having 2 comma 4 comma 0 comma 6 so basically this function is used to find out that whether inside the list we are having any non zero value or not if we are having any single non zero value also any single zero value also it is going to return as false it indicates that something zero is exist there but let's say we are not having any kind of zero inside that it is going to return to it means that all the values are non zero to find whether the list is containing any non zero value or not we can use that so it is here going to write false because we are having a single zero inside the question number 18 is the output of this python code would be so here you are going to see x equals to 1 x 2 y 3 and z they are the keys represented with the help of that and we are using del x del x del is a function for deleting and x we are deleting all the keys so let's scan the options the del method does not exist for dictionary no false the del would delete the values present in the dictionary yes the del would delete the entire dictionary the del would delete all the keys in dictionary all the keys would be right so it would not uh, delete entire dictionary but it is going to delete all the keys present in the dictionary that is option d and question number 19 which of the which one of the following syntax is the correct syntax to read from simple text file stored so let's say this is the location this is the location of a file in your pc and you want to read that file simple text file then basically in file this syntax is used and we have to assign it the value open file open dot file open followed by dot file and there after that link in parenthesis followed by double quotes separated by comma and r r is for read mode so in read mode we are opening that option d is the correct one okay so you are going to see simply the this is the position this is the position of the this is nothing but location of the memory where your file existed and r is for read mode and uh, the function is open dot file so you can open that file and read that in file and the question number 20 study the following statement a plus b c what will be the output so you know this plus is the working uh, is going to be work as a concatenation operation so concatenation operation is going to work here it is going to concatenate this string and this one a and b c ultimately option b this one is the correct answer okay so i hope that uh, the all the concepts in this video are clear to you further if you are having any kind of doubt or any kind of confusion you can comment us you can query you can put in comment i will try to resolve as early as possible thank you so much guys have a very nice day jai jai bharat